Grace and peace to you, Christ community family. I pray that all of you are healthy and well as we uh, come together on this third week of October uh, virtually for our midweek devotionals, our, our Wednesday's Word. Uh, we've been unpacking uh, the fruit of the Spirit uh, from Galatians 5 each week, and this week we have come to peace, uh, love, joy, and peace. Uh, so let me read a couple passages from Scripture about peace. Philippians chapter 4 Verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, these two passages are incredibly famous passages written from Paul as he talks about this peace of God and the peace we have received from God. Now, when you think of peace, we can think of how much energy and effort it takes to attain that peace. Oftentimes, peace comes with the price. When you think about a war or conflict, there are sacrifices that people need to make. There are sacrifices that people make for the sake of peace. Now, the biblical word, uh, a biblical Greek here for the word peace is irene. Now, irene is defined or translated as one, peace, quietness, and rest. Now, this, this word originates from uh, the word ero, which usually means to join or tie together into a whole. So if you put those definitions together, many times the word irene can also mean unity or bringing multiple parts together to form a whole. Now, this word is important because it appears more, more than 90 times, almost 100 times throughout the New Testament. Now, the word irene is also the root word uh, for the English word serene, which means calm and peaceful. So if you think about it, calm, peaceful, quiet, unity. As the people of God, this solitude isn't just a homework assignment. This peace that we yearn for isn't just an extracurricular activity. You see, the peace is unity with our Lord. Solitude and, and quietness, that Sabbath rest with our Lord, that's peace. To experience that quietness with our God so we can hear what God has to say for us. So going back to what Paul wrote multiple th times throughout his letter, receiving the gift of Christ equates to receiving a peace and comfort that transcends all human understanding. We can't try to figure out what this peace is because we're never going to figure it out. That's what Scripture is teaching us. It transcends all human understanding. Receiving the gift of Christ equates to a gift that can not only equip us, but also guard us. You see, peace may be hard to experience, but with Christ, nothing is impossible. And it's with that peace, we need that peace to rule our words and our actions. That peace needs to be shared with those around us. That peace needs to be embodied in who we are and what we do. Let me read a couple of sections once again from Paul's letter uh, to the Philippians and, and to the Colossians. Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. And a God of peace will be with you. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body you are called to peace. You are called to peace and be thankful. Put it into practice church. Embody that peace that you have received. Embody that peace that is gifted to you through Christ. Embody it, live it and share it. If you're yearning for that peace, seek into your heart, look into your heart. And if you, re, uh, if you find that peace once again, be thankful. 
So my prayer is that uh, my prayer and my blessing to you all is this: May the God of peace go before you, and go behind you, and go beside you, and go in places that you don't even expect, because that peace will transcend all human understanding. Blessings to y'all. Stay healthy, and I pray that God will continue to bring forth His peace for you.